Hello people, welcome back to another episode of Crazy Stuff Online. Warning, visitors with no sense of humor are advised to turn back now. Management is not responsible for any damage to feelings. In the United States, a nation of diversity and unity, there's one common thread that binds millions of households together, the love for dogs. According to Forbes advisor, Pet Ownership Statistics of 2024, Dogs are the most popular pet in the U.S. Roughly 65.1 million U.S. households own a dog. It's clear that America has a special place in its heart for these loyal companions. From the wagging tails that greet us when we come home, to comforting presence by our side during tough times, dogs have a way of making our lives brighter and fuller. And for many people, dogs are more than just pets. They're family. We do almost anything for them going to great lengths to ensure their happiness and well-being. And there are people who love their dogs more than they love people. Because in a world that can sometimes be harsh and unforgiving, dogs can offer unconditional love and acceptance. But wait! There are a lot of people out there that love to let the dogs lick them in the mouth. And then they like to post it on social media. I realize it's mainly women that do this. I mean, I've seen challenges on TikTok to get your dog to kiss you or to lick you in the mouth or to kiss you, they call it kiss you. And some of these women are taking it to the extreme. This is the wife making out with the dog. This happens a lot. Mm. Wow. And he kisses that mouth? Mm -mm -mm. Well, I'm sure the dog is licking him in the, in the mouth too, so it's no big deal. It's a family thing, right? Okay. But I learned as, as a teenager, I said to myself, I would never date, go out with a woman that has a dog because of this. <laughs> now I know all people don't do this type of behavior with their dogs, but for me, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. <laughs> look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be French kissed by a dog? Well, Hell no. <laughs> it's not too bad. Nasty bitch. Like, you are too heavy, mom. You are way too, you are heavy too. I can't be lifting you up. Okay, let's try one more. Dogs be doing all kinds of things with their mouth. They be having oral sex with their mouth. They be licking them balls. And you want them to stick their tongue down your throat. Out there prostituting, having oral sex with my mouth. Licking these balls. So my question is, why does she have her mouth wide open like that? Hmm. You see, this is that extreme loving your dog shit. This is just nasty. Oh no. <laughs> kisses. Lots of kisses. <laughs> I don't know. This must be some type of uh, a turn on thing where all these women are just doing this and just posting it up on social media like it's like it's a cool thing to do. Maybe it is a cool thing amongst these young people, but it's nasty. It's nasty. I don't care what y'all think. That's just my opinion. It's nasty. And there's bacteria that's being transferred. And you can get sick. Possibly the dog. But people have gotten sick, like seriously ill, where they had to lose limbs.
from this from diseases from dogs. Check this next video out if you don't believe me. Do you kiss your dog on the mouth? Because if so, it's time to stop. You could actually lose your limbs over it. I'm unfortunately not kidding. Kissing your dog on the mouth can actually cause an infection with something called capnocytophagia canamorsis. This is a serious illness that can cause widespread systemic infection, septic shock, and even gangrene. And depending how fast it progresses and when it's diagnosed, amputation may become the only treatment. Why not avoid all that trouble and just stop tonguing your dog? Seems like an easy fix to me. Now check out this story of what happened to this man after going to a little doggy party and having dogs lick him in the face and everything. This man is surprisingly upbeat after losing nearly all his limbs and part of his nose. It's been a long, tough journey, but pretty close to over. Greg Manteifel has been out of the hospital for two weeks. Parts of his arms and legs were amputated after doctors say he may have contracted a bacteria from a dog's lick. It started back in June. Earlier this summer, Greg told Inside Edition from his hospital bed that he had gone to a party at a dog park near his home in Wisconsin. I ended up not washing my hands and rubbing my eye or my face, my mouth somehow. A day after the party, Greg started exhibiting signs of sepsis. When Greg had come in, he had developed a severe bloodstream infection uh, with rare bacteria, capnocytophagia. Now he's thanking the team of doctors that saved him. They're a great team, I'll tell you that. Yep. They saved my life. Greg's wife has been by his side all the way. Keeping him strong and him keeping me strong. <laughs> we, we were a pretty good team through the whole thing. Doctors say once Greg is healed in about two months, he can undergo reconstructive surgery and will be fitted for prosthetics. In this video here, I mean, this is the extreme. You can't tell me these women are not getting off on this shit. Come on now. When wolves greet, they will want to lick inside your mouth. This is perfectly normal for them, and this is what they do to one another on a daily basis. That's disgusting. I love it. Nasty bitch. Oh well, that's the end of this video. Thank you all for making it to the end, for those of you who have made it to the end. Please like, share, and subscribe, and give me your comments. Did you like the video or did you not? Are you a dog lover and you let your dog lick you and you lick your dog in the mouth? Or you don't? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to see how many people do this. But again, thank you all for watching the video. And please like, share, and subscribe, and comment on the video. Take care, and see you on the next video.